Hello, my name is Anita Francis and I am a continence nurse advisor. In this video, I will address some of the difficulties in using the toilet and incontinence accidents which may occur for the person with dementia. I'll also briefly mention some of the causes of incontinence and toileting difficulties, as well as practical solutions and sources of support. People with Alzheimer's and other related illnesses suffer progressive brain damage which may result in changes in personality, mood and behaviour. Although incontinence is not a consequence of dementia, incontinent episodes can increase as the disease progresses. These are upsetting for the person and for those around them, but there are a number of factors to take into consideration, which includes both physical and environmental causes. People with dementia may over time have an inability to communicate a need to toilet, forget where to find the toilet, forget how to undress when they get there, refuse to stay sitting on the toilet, become angry and resistive to toilet prompting, pass urine or use their bowels in an inappropriate place, for example, into a pot plant or waste paper basket. Be confused about how to apply a continence product, that is, inside out or upside down. Forget or refuse to apply an incontinence product, which can be problematic on outings or at night time. Dispose of incontinence pads into the toilet or hide them throughout the house. Frustration can sometimes result in an outburst of uncharacteristic behaviour and while triggers in the environment can cause an aggressive response, at the same time, the altered behaviour may also be related to changes occurring in the brain or in other medical condition. Problematic issues with behaviour, incontinence, toileting and other tasks can have a number of underlying causes. These are often reversible and Alzheimer's Australia have a number of fact sheets available to advise in this respect, or you can access information on the Alzheimer's Association website. It is important to identify any reversible underlying factors that are contributing to incontinence, behaviour and difficulties with toileting. These can be infection, pain, medication side effects, unstable diabetes, constipation or prostate problems. Your local health professional can assist with identifying and treating these factors. Once any reversible physical causes have been identified, then it's time to think outside the square to manage incontinence and assist with toileting. This is a matter of trial and error, and what works one day for some may not work another day for others. An understanding of the difficulties confronting a person with dementia in maintaining continence requires an informed and careful approach by carers. Contact telephone numbers and website information for support organisations are listed at the end of this video.